Angie. I changed my hair. Do you like it? <laughs> Thank you. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started with this day. I hope you're ready for online school because we will be working from Unit 8, Lesson 9 today. All right, kiddos, we're going to play a game that we've played before. This game is called Which Word Has More Letters Game. We're going to count the letters in each word that we see, and we are going to discuss which word has more letters. Or maybe we'll talk about which word has fewer letters. The word at the top is dance. The word at the bottom is stop. Just from looking, which word do you think have more letters? Dance or stop? Take a guess. Now we are going to count the letters and see which one has more letters. I'm gonna start with the word at the top. Dance, here we go. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five. The word dance have how many letters? Five. Let's count the letters in the word stop. One, two, three, Four. How many letters is in the word stop? There are four letters in the word stop. Which word has more letters, dance or stop? Dance have more letters because five is bigger than a four. You remember this letter, right? Letter Q. And what sound does a Q make? It's a tricky one. It goes qua, 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 qua. This is the way the big ducks quack, the big ducks quack, the big ducks quack. This is the way the big ducks quack, qua, 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 is the sound a Q made. I am going to say some words. If you hear the qua sound at the beginning of the word, you're going to say qua, 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 okay? If you don't hear qua, Q sound at the beginning of the word, then you're just gonna put a thumbs down. A Q sound is not at the end of any words. A Q sound is at the beginning of the word. So listen for the qu. First word, quick, Qu quick. Did you hear the Q sound when I said quick, Qu quick? Try it, say quick. There's a Q sound in there. Qu, qu, qu. Good job. Let's try another word. Kind. Did you hear Q sound in the word kind? Next word. Qu, qu, queen. Qu, queen. Do you hear Q sound when we say qu, qu, queen? Last word. Quiver. Quiver. Do you hear a Q sound? Bing, 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 bing. Good one. It's <laughs> time to get ready to read. And before we read our short book, our new one, we have to learn which sight words are going to be inside of it. So this is one of the sight words. Does anybody recognize what this sight word is? My, good work. This is the sight word, my. Let's see what's next. Which one is this one? Is, is, good guess. Which sight word is this? F. This was a little harder, but we learned it. Do you remember which sight word this one is? R, <laughs> good work. And the last sight word is our new sight word for today. This sight word starts with the letter F. F four. The word is four. F-O-R spells four. Can you say four? The way we use this word in a sentence is like this. Is those donuts for me? Four. This is our new sight word, guys. Please practice because it will be in our new story. Practice all the sight words throughout the whole week, okay? 
Alrighty, there will be some pictures in our new story too. Do you know what this is a picture of? Apples, let's see. You are correct, the word on the back says apples. What is that? A pie, all right, let's see what the word on the back says. <gasps> pie, you got it right. Do you guys like pie? What is your favorite kind of pie? Have you ever made a pie before with your family? Let's move on to the last picture for our new short book. What do you think this might be a picture of? Let's check the word on the back. Family, this is the picture for family. Please practice remembering the names for each picture and each sight word. Thank you. All right, kids, I wanna test you. I wanna see if you remember the name of the lines we've been practicing. What is the name of the line that starts at the top like this one and goes straight down? Do you remember the name of a line that starts at the top and goes straight down? It's called an up and down line because it goes, starts up and goes down, an up and down line. Do you remember what kind, what is the name for the line that starts at the top and goes down to the right? Or starts at the top and go down to the left? What are these lines called? Slant, slant, slanting lines. Good word. What kind of line is this? It's a circle line, it's a round, it's a circle line. What kind of line is this? Or this, what kind of lines are these called? Curved lines, good word. What kind of line is this? Starts on one side, goes across, across lines. It starts from one side and goes across to the other. These are called across lines. I want you to take a look at some letters and we're gonna see what kind of lines are in those letters. This is the letter A. What kind of lines do you see in the letter A? A has slanting lines. That looks like this. And it also has a line that goes across. What kind of lines does the letter B have? Well, look right here. I see an up and down line. Do you see that up and down line right there? It says start up and go down. And what else do you see? What, what are these called? There's two of them right here. Can you say curve? A capital B has a curve here and a curve at the bottom. Last letter is a C. We talked about a C the last time. What kind of line does a C have? A curve, a curve. All right, kiddos, it is time for you to pull out this sheet in your packet and you're going to practice by circling the correct letter. Growing Like Me book again today. But this time we'll be looking for something a little different. We will be looking at the setting of the book. Can you say the word setting? Setting. Setting is where the story takes place. So when you're reading Growing Like Me, where is the little boy? Do you remember? I want you to listen carefully this time to hear if you can hear where the characters are in the story, okay? So Growing Like Me is the title. I'm gonna read the first page. The first page says, here in the meadow. Here in the, what? What did you hear? Here in the meadow. You remember what a meadow is? It's like, it's like this area right here, a bunch of tall grassy fields. 
So where are they right now? They're in the meadow. Here in the meadow by the woods. So they're in a meadow that's by the woods. See the woods up top? Here in the meadow by the woods and the pond. Do you see a pond on this page? Yes, the pond is the water, the little small water, good. So they're in the meadow by the woods in the pond. Meadow, woods, pond. All right. Everything is growing just like me. White blossoms will grow into berries, black and juicy and sweet. Where is the berries at? Is it in the pond, in the woods, or in the meadow? Blue eggs safe and warm in their nests will launch into robins that sing in the grass. Who do you think the bird is? In the meadow? In the pond or in the woods? A caterpillar munching milkweed. Munching, what's munching mean? Can you pretend you're munching? <laughs> munching means eating something? <laughs> Will become a tiger color butterfly fluttering through the sky. Fluttering. Where do you think the butterfly is? Where is the setting? Is it in the meadow, in the pond, or in the woods? Fluttering butterfly. What does fluttering mean? Can you pretend you're fluttering? Fl flutter, fluttering. That's how I would do it. Little black polywogs wiggling in the water will turn into big green frogs calling from the pond. So what, where, where are the polywogs? What's the setting? Are they in the meadow, the woods, or the pond? Here's right. Downy cheeping ducklings will grow up to be wild ducks quacking through cattails and flying away. Where are the ducklings and the ducks? Where are the fishes? Where would the acorn be that grows into a, tra a tall tree? Would it be in the meadow, in the pond, or in the woods? Where would this tree be? Maybe in the woods, yes. Little baby brother, what in the world will you grow to be? Where do you think the setting is now? Yeah, guys. All right, take time out to talk about the story, talk about setting the places that the characters and the things and the plants and the animals, where were they? Were they in the meadow, in the pond, or in the woods? Have fun with the story. Until next time. guys it is blue time and for blue time you will be taking another page out of your packet so you can complete the next page of your growing like me book we are on the page that has a picture of a baby and a boy you're gonna read you're gonna read the sentence a baby grows into a and you get to choose what word do you want to put in this space do you want to say a baby grows into a big girl or a baby grows into a big boy? Or do you wanna say a baby grows into a child? You choose what word you're gonna put in this space below. And then you're gonna read the sentence once more again. You're gonna color the baby and color the child. And you're gonna save your picture until we meet again. Thank you, you guys. I had so much fun with you today. I hope I see you again next time. Bye-bye now.